Hey everybody, in this uh, class we will talk about uh, what is the difference between uh, drop shadow and cast shadow and also we will uh, create a really interesting layout. So let's start. So first of all, make sure you are on this layer. Okay. And now, next thing what you can do like we have two options so first we can create drop shadow from here okay when we are on this layer just double click and now you can see this pop-up window and here we have the option drop shadow so when we click on this you can see the, the drop shadow and if size is zero you cannot see it so let me increase or decrease distance so you can see it. You can increase or decrease the spread value, size. Yeah. So these are some options. Even you can play with angles. Like which angle do you want? Okay. Yeah. And so this is the one way, okay? So let me cancel it. Another way is uh, when you are on this layer, can you see this FX, okay? So when we click on this, we have an option, drop shadow. So let me click on this and now I have seen thing here, okay? And you can see now I have drop shadow. And I can increase or decrease the size. Even if you want to change color, you can change that. And suppose I want to shadow on this color. Okay? I can make it more black. Okay. This color. Okay. So you can change color also. Press OK. And OK. So this is the way we can make it drop shadow now let's use this drop shadow and create a cache shadow okay how we can do that so here we already have our drop shadow so let's click on this and you can see a option create layer okay so let's click on this now you can see something like this and say okay and here in our layers panel let me drag here so you can see. We have a new layer. Okay. And we will play with this one. Okay. So now we have this layer. And now I want to you press control T, okay, to select this and yeah, okay, make sure your background is on, okay, so you can see. And even you can turn on or off mood, okay. And now come to this drop shadow layer and press control T, T as the term. And right click and distort. Okay. And now you can drag this right here. Okay. And Next thing we wanna move this part, only this part, okay? So first check this. Now take your marquee tool and select only this part. And now control P, distort again. And now a angle, okay? And 
Okay, can you probably do I remove these marching ends and now it's still a little uh, dark. So let me apply a gradient. Okay, now uh, you are here. So now create a layer mask. Okay? And after creating a layer mask, make sure you have black and white color selected. And now select the gradient. And make it a little lighter. Okay. So now it looks fine. And just select your selection tool, and this is our cache. Okay. So this is the way we can make our drop shadow and cat shadow. Yeah. Now let me show you something else. Okay, so for that, make sure you are on this layer. And now control C to copy and control V to okay, paste. And now control V to resize it. Now make it a little bigger. And make sure this is not on the top. Okay. And if you Wanna make it lighter, you can reduce the opacity. Okay, so we can create this kind of effect. Okay, so let's turn on mood and now you can see it looks really nice. Okay. So thank you.